Let's see what this thing can do. So this idea kind of came from this weird, I want to make a video on my most inspiring drum machine. I don't really know how to word it, but long story short, it was, <laughs> I was having a hard time choosing between these two. I love the model cycles because of its immediacy and its flexibility. And I also love the drum brute impact for basically those exact same things. Well, not so much its flexibility because it's not that flexible. It's, it is what you get, right? There's no presets or anything. The only thing you get are, are patterns, but it's, it's really fun to play and program. And as cheesy as I thought these beat repeat things are, I use them more than I'd like to admit. They're actually really fun. And then the distortion is fun. The probability stuff, it's all right there. Knob per function, no menu diving, easy peasy. Same with the model cycles. So again, what am I trying to mention? Basically, I want to try and use the model cycles as the synthesizer in the setup and essentially use it as a six part synth, like FM synth. And I know you could do this with the Digitone, but I, I... I don't get along with the Digitone. I need I need to sit down with it more. That's my problem. I don't have enough time to just learn everything because I keep jumping from machine to machine and I can't build up any muscle memory on anything and I can't really fully utilize something. So don't be like me. Stop buying stuff and just start using what you have and learning it the best of, the best of your ability. All right, so I'm going to use this for drums, use this for weird synth stuff, and let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, drum brute impact. Let's uh, let's go ahead and pattern some. Oh my! See what I'm telling you? You just don't learn anything. All right, so I like working in accents as opposed to steps, just because I like going quieter than I do louder. I find that I rarely am like, oh, let's make one thing blow my ears out when everything else is moderate. So I'll start with blowing my ears out first. Maybe we'll, yeah, that'll work. So then I want to do some weird, should we do slow? Yeah, let's do slow. So I'll just hit record. Actually, I like these kind of quiet. Cool, that's good. So one thing I like doing a lot, I've kind of been messing with this a lot more is on like the last quarter of the bar, don't know what that is, the, the fourth, fourth section, I'll try and add less stuff to kind of give it a bit of a pause. So right now we have this open hat kind of reintroducing the bar. See how it just leaves this big gap. So what I'm gonna do instead now is I'm gonna extend this. And on the first section, I'll have it where it was. Cool, that works. Uh, we don't need some toms. Yeah, that'll work. Turn my headphones up. Turn my headphones up. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna add some swing to everything. Throw it off a little bit. What about our symbol? The drum brute impact sequencer is so fast to use. I love that you have a separated pads as well as a step sequencer in view at all times. I guess that's probably why I like this as well because this isn't necessarily the way you have to play the pads. You have the pads to play the pads, and then you have this to play them chromatically. Smart, smart electron. I guess that's kind of what I gravitate towards. Just a quick, fun to use drum machine. Okay, so this kick can use a little bit of work.
Let's add some color to it. Uh, I kind of like the clean kick. The kick on this one's way better than the regular drum brute. I will give it that much. But the drum brute has those, that second kick that's actually pretty usable. So I hear this beat and it sounds kind of busy to me. I think there's too many things going on. I think this hat is just... And then the cowbell too. So this cowbell, I want to add a little bit of randomization to just it. Honestly, adding randomization to the entire track, like 5% to 10%. Okay, let's kind of build this up a bit. Focus in on the model cycles. Actually, let me fix this kick really, or the clap. All right, cool. So track one, go to our preset menu. And I guess I'll do chord. Let's see what we got. Minor seven. Okay. Minus 12. So what's great about this, the reason that I kind of brought the idea up is you have the sustain mode. So if I press and hold, it'll just stay there indefinitely. Okay, so if this is C, Four steps. Okay, let's do this over. Da, da, da. Do I like that pattern? Da, 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 da. It's muted every time. Dude, immediacy. What does chord color do again? Invert? I always get so nervous because I want to grab the shape and that just wrecks your song because it just changes the chord up completely. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, cool. So we'll go to track two and instead of chord, we'll do tone. Where is it? Pad menu, fixed velocity. I honestly just want to keep adding delay to everything and I need to not <laughs> give it a little bit of a chance. 
this and then we go to track three and I want to do something a little weirder. I do this a lot in my actual in my actual music that this isn't this peasant music. Uh, let me go to per track and I'm going to set this to 12 steps. Uh oh, we got a mosquito in here. Cool. Sweet, so I'll just say boom, 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 boom. All right, where's our delay time at? Set that to 12 steps also. LFO, destination, we'll go to color. It's going way too fast. And then I'm pretty sure you can also have it reset every time it plays. So this is kind of cool. If you set your LFO speed really, really slow, and then you go into your actual LFO settings and change the wave shape to sample and hold. Every time you hit a new note, it's gonna just keep changing the uh, the pitch, or not the pitch, the color, the destination. Sorry, this song's so hypnotizing. So it's a little intense. I'm gonna go and set our destination to, uh, shape is okay. Contour is kind of cool. Let's turn that up. Let's go, let's go, come on. See how it kind of changes a little bit there. Oh, sweep is cool. Yeah, sweep is way cooler. little pop. Temporary save that. Yeah, this is kind of tight. I'm kind of down with this. It's a little distortion. Oh, no, no, no. Too much. Temp save did it again. Not bad. I mean, this is just three parts. We can go even further if we wanted. Let's let's go even further because I want it. So we'll say mute that. Temp save that. Reload pattern from saved project. What the hell? I thought that was the point of that. What? Did I just destroy everything? Oh my god, I did. What am I doing wrong, Electron? Electronauts, save me. Where's my base at? Oh, I think I know what I did. <laughs> That's gone. Cool. All right, on to the next track. We'll go back to chords again. Or 
11th or something? Give me jazzy. So many chords. Back to our seventh. So, I kind of want to. Let's go to six steps. And we'll just speed this up. Let's do that. Take this little. So this is kind of too jazzy now for this, right? So let's go ahead and copy uh, this pattern to here. And then I'm gonna just destroy it. So this needs to go. And then these claps need to be just on. And then some of this bass line is okay. bird territory. This snare is a little too intense. Oh, and the randomization, that's what it is. That's throwing me off. So then we'll just, you know, go very typical. Swing's a little too intense. Even on here, it's a little too intense. Ooh, locked in. Oh, can we add some distortion now? Kill the volume, add some color. Solo that. Track here. So this is kind of cool. It's fun to when you set the um, the patterns up to be per track the lengths. You can then just kind of play in. I wish you can change the start point of the patterns. I don't know of a way. If you know, let me know. I want to know, need to know. Thank you. So now I can go back. Oops. A little cheesy. Let's go back to 16 steps. We lost that dump, the little ending part, so let's just set this back a bit too. Where's it at? Let's set the last step. Just remove everything off of the last level. So this is going to be hard because the up hat wants to live there, right? I guess we can kind of fake it and make it a little early. That'll give us some room for the kick. Let's see. Oh, let's put the symbol there. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Let's see if the metronome can add anything to this. Sometimes weirdly the metronome just fits. Yo, this is tight. I think I'll end it on a high note. Easy, simple setup, super effective. We still got two more voices to go. I ain't gonna mess with them. I'm not just gonna throw elements just to throw elements at it. You know, we can mute that, go into whatever garbage we had earlier. <laughs> but this is, just kind of lands in this little groove. Yeah, anyway, cool. Thanks for hanging. Hope you're doing okay. Um, I'm excited to see you next week, and uh, if you want to support the channel, check out the link. I've got some merch, hats, shirts, sample packs, whatever you want, but seriously, just kicking it is more than enough. I appreciate you, as I always do, and uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you in the next one. You already know the drill. Share the love. Share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace. Close.